Hey Lennies, welcome back to our channel. Today's video was actually not planned at all. Um, this was not meant to be this week's video actually, but someone sent me a DM yesterday on Instagram and I really felt compelled to make a video about this because it needs to be talked about. And being that we are upon Easter season, it only makes sense that we do talk about it. So this girl, Brooke, sends me a DM, shout out to Brooke. She said, Hey, I was at a mall near me today and noticed that a picture studio there has four to five bunnies in really small cages that look like bird cages with bottled water, pellets, no hay, no greens, and nobody was paying attention to them. And they only seem to be let out of their cages when they're getting their pictures taken with little kids and toddlers. I was wondering if you could give me advice on what to do. Um, I'm, I'm only 14, so I thought that if I went up to the employees there, they wouldn't take me seriously and just brush it off. And then Brooke also sends me the photos of this photography studio, uh, which were actually taken directly from the mall's Instagram, the mall where the studio is located. And the studio is called Portrait Simple. And basically in the photos, you can kind of see like the advertisement of they have like this kind of toddler with a little bunny and then it says live bunnies book now and then they have a picture of how the bunnies are being kept and their living conditions and this photo is very exposing like I don't know why they would post it because it's really not a good look to show people how these bunnies are living maybe they thought it was cute or something but it's good for us because we get to see it for what it really is so there's a lot of things wrong with this photo. First of all, there's a wire-bottomed cage and we know that wire-bottomed cages are really bad for bunnies because they don't have any padding on their paws so they can get sore hawks. Next, there's the water bottle and we all know that bunnies are susceptible to dehydration when they're on water bottles. It's just not enough water. Um, then uh, I noticed that they're very young baby bunnies and there's no alfalfa hay anywhere and they're supposed to be given unlimited alfalfa hay. I do see pellets. I don't know what kind of pellets those are. I don't know what ingredients are in them. Then I see like this ink printed Starbucks box in there, like someone's trash. Like that's supposed to be their toy, I guess. Very, very generous of you, Portrait Simple, to give the bunny a Starbucks box to play with. So I decided to do a little more digging. I wanted to know like what Portrait Simple was, like do they do this every year, what do they stand for? So I Google them, I come across their website, and I find like a lot more pictures of what they do. And it's like a chain photography studio that is based in the New England area, so just like Massachusetts and Connecticut. So they do these Easter studio sessions every year. So I saw photos of toddlers and infants with these bunnies like plastered all over their website. They've got like bunnies on top of the baby's back. They've got like bunnies in baskets, kind of like children carrying them in baskets. I even saw baby chickens being used as props in their photos and I'm like, really? You guys will stop at nothing to make a quick buck. It just perpetuates like so many notions and stereotypes that like we in the bunny community have been trying to shed for so many years. You know, that bunnies are supposed to be Easter gifts or that, you know, a toddler should go out and get a bunny. And by the way, guys, I'm not talking about the exceptions. Like I'm sure that there are some families that are responsible and have toddlers and bunnies coexisting together perfectly fine but i'm not talking about those exceptions a lot of people will go out and buy bunnies for their toddlers because they think it's cute for easter or for christmas and then the bunnies are dumped just weeks after easter's over because they realize that they're actually kind of a handful and their toddler isn't going to take care of it also like you always hear of these stories of like oh my toddler dropped the bunny it broke its back we can't afford the vet bill now or oh my daughter my son they got bored of it you know and i volunteered at a rescue and i've been to a ton of shelters and i was always on the receiving end of those stories and i know them firsthand and they are very real stories and some of the most common reasons why rabbits are dumped is because 
the kids got bored. So these images are really harmful and not just that, but I'm very concerned about the well-being of these rabbits. So then I decided to look up some of Portrait Simple's Yelp reviews and I'm gonna read them to you right now on my laptop. Okay, so Cynthia W. from San Diego back in 2013 wrote like a really long review, but I'm gonna just talk about one portion here. She wrote, the most recent visit we made to have our child photographed with the Easter Bunnies was a big fail. The girl, she was very young, was laughing at my child's antics instead of taking the pictures, and she clearly couldn't manage the bunny and had to call in some help. So that I find to be very telling that they've got these like inexperienced handlers working with the bunnies. So then another review is all the way from 2010 and we are in 2019 now. So that's almost a decade of this stuff being documented on Yelp. And who knows how long this really has been going on pre Yelp. So Kate K from New Jersey wrote, rabbits aren't supposed to be throw away props. Even worse, when they're purchased every year just for this purpose and given away to whoever without consideration for long-term care, the rabbits have wire-bottomed cages, a huge no-no as it leads to sores on their feet, and have no hay, the most essential part of their diet. Don't be fooled by this place. They are not caring for their rabbits properly and do nothing to ensure them a good long-term home. If they were puppies being bred specifically for a two-week photo shoot and then to be discarded, no one would stand for that. Kate K, thank you so much for saying exactly what I wanna say. So it's very clear these rabbits are not kept in good conditions. And I also read in the Yelp reviews that people are paying hundreds of dollars for these photo shoots. So Portrait Simple is like pocketing thousands of dollars off of these bunnies. And what do the bunnies get in exchange? Nothing, nothing, they're just kept in a cage all day, all night. And I really wanna know, like when the staff clocks out, turns out the lights, locks up the door and goes home, what happens to the bunnies overnight? Are they just kind of there in the cage? Like, I mean, no one's checking on their water, no one's checking, you know, on their hay, et cetera, replenishing their food. You know, these bunnies aren't even getting exercise really outside of the photo shoots, which is also very bad. And this is not just Portrait Simple, this has been going on for a long time, some photographers every year like to use rabbits as props for their photos during Easter, and it just needs to stop. We are in 2019, people are free roaming their bunnies now. This is not, you know, 20 years ago, they were being kept in cages all the time and being fed carrots and dying after like two years of age, and now they're living up until 14 years of age. So we in the rabbit community have made huge strides to move away from this attachment to Easter. And this is just making it worse. It's really not helping the cause. And I just have to say, there's nothing wrong with wanting to take a photo with your cute bunny. You know, we lo we all love our bunnies. We wanna be in photos with them. That's not what this video is about. This video is about a bigger picture. It's about people and companies like Portrait Simple who are commodifying and exoticizing these baby bunnies and using them for their commerce to feed an industry that perpetuates the neglect and abuse of these animals, especially during Easter when they are the most vulnerable. And last year, there was a photographer whose photos were leaked showing how some of the children were handling the bunnies and like they were being dangled by their ears and they were like dropping the baby chickens. And it caused such a huge outrage that that photographer no longer does photo shoots like that. And by the way, you can still be a photographer and have your little Easter photo shoots. Just go out and buy like a stuffed animal instead. It's not that hard. So portrait simple. You know what to do. Do the right thing. Be a leader. This is not, this is not necessary. Like I'm legitimately concerned about what happens to these bunnies after the Easter season is over. It makes me uncomfortable that these baby bunnies who even though, you know, I really don't know how old they are, but even if they were at that six week mark where they could be weaned from their mothers, like it's still greatly disturbing that at such a young age, they're, they're just being objectified. You know, bunnies are not props. They're not decorations. They're not inanimate objects. They're living beings. They're so loving and intelligent, just like dogs and cats. And guys, if this were dogs and cats, like people would be outraged. So I don't know what it's gonna take to get people to realize that 
bunnies are just as important when it comes to this. And also those baby chickens, guys, like, come on. And by the way, I just wanna make clear that this isn't about Portrait Simple. I don't think you should go and like, send your hate mail to Portrait Simple or verbally harass them or anything like that. But you can certainly speak your truth and tell them why you think this is wrong and that you're not gonna support a business like that. You know, we in the bunny community, we're strong, we're a force to be reckoned with, and you know, we're not gonna stop until this stops. The whole thing just makes me very, very sad when I see stuff like that. I hope that you guys found this video informative and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.